At the age of 40, Kai Miller has a list of achievements as a poet, novelist, and essayist that could easily fill a whole career of writing. Kai Miller is one of the contemporary writers who is most important at this particular time in the trajectory of Caribbean writing. Over the past decade or so, he has emerged as one of the finest voices uh, in Caribbean literature uh, in terms of the quality and diversity of his output you know, in poetry, in narrative, and certainly also as a thinker, he's not just a producer, but he's someone who thinks about production, thinks about the work of other writers. Miller's ascent to these heights has been relatively quick, but it has not been easy, nor was it a straight or paved path. So I dropped out uh, from my first degree. I still don't have a first degree, uh, which was a brilliant thing at the time. It meant when my friends were graduating from UE and could claim uh, different professions, that they were doctors or lawyers. I, I felt I had to claim something, uh, so I claimed writing. That led to all kinds of weird things. I got two books uh, published, a book of poetry, a book of short stories. They did, uh, they did pretty well. Uh, the, the book of short stories got shortlisted for the Commonwealth Writers' Prize. I used that and then I applied to do a master's in creative writing. and. Then I could say, look, I don't have a first degree, but I have two books. Would you consider that the equivalent? But his early success allowed him to apply for a job in the UK. And he went to the University of Glasgow, where he taught and read for his PhD. So, so yes, I did a PhD on, on, on Caribbean culture and literature. And, and yeah, and through all that time, I am still, I'm still writing more books. Uh, I guess experimenting, finding different ways to tell the story of the Caribbean. Kai is an immensely talented writer. I mean, he's been writing, he's been publishing for something around about 10 years. And in that period, I think he's published two or three collections of poetry. He's published two or three novels. He's published a collection of, of essays. And I, so it's talent plus hard work. And in that respect, I think he's an important kind of role model for younger writers. He has published nine books and edited one, and has won two major prizes. The 2014 Fard Prize for Poetry for The Cartographer Tries to Map a Way to Zion, and the 2017 OCM Booker's Prize for his novel August Town. One of the remarkable things about this is that while he might have left the Caribbean, his work remains here. He's retained his roots in his origins, and his origins are in the evangelical, charismatic churches of Jamaica and these are the churches of the word. And there is still that element in Kai. He is also conscious of and responds to the work of the generation that came before him. I've always been aware of myself as talking back to Caribbean writers. I am, I am consciously talking back to Earl Loveless. I am consciously responding to Walcott, not always in pleasant ways. I am not always agreeing. I am saying, this is what you missed out, or this is why I don't agree, or this is, the other half of the story that you started to tell. I do want to respond to the Lonely Londoners, to Sam Selvan's work. Um, well, not to just the Lonely Londoners, but that whole trilogy. It, essentially, he imagines the life of the immigrant uh, from arrival to, uh, you know, the next book, Moses Ascending, um, and, you know, building a life in London, to Moses migrating back to Trinidad for a while before he comes back to England. And I think now I'm, I've come to England at a point where I'm seeing that generation, well, dying. Uh, and I do want to write Moses dying. I do want to write the final part of that story of what did it mean for that kind of Windrush generation? What does it mean to imagine them now? Apart from creating stories and mapping the emotional terrain of the region, Miller's work has also placed him at the forefront of Caribbean writing. Kai Miller is one of the important ambassadors for Caribbean writing, I would say. He has managed to make his way into academia, into literary circles, uh, mainly in Britain and certainly in the Caribbean, which is not an easy world to enter. What he's important to Caribbean writing for is that he's healing that divide that there used to exist between the middle class writer and Caribbean people. But what is evident in Miller's work and achievement 
is that the best of his work is yet to come. When we look back, probably in the next uh, few decades, we will see him as one of the giants. It is almost spiritual to me. I, I, I cannot be anything else but a Caribbean writer. For these reasons, Kai Miller of Jamaica has been named the Anthony N. Sapka Caribbean Awards for Excellence Laureate in Arts and Letters for 2018.